This episode of This Week in Orthodoxy is brought to you in part by contributions from viewers like you and by Holy Apostles Greek Orthodox Church in Westchester, Illinois, in honor of longtime supporter Father William Cherganos, who has fallen asleep in the Lord. May his memory be eternal. Welcome to This Week in Orthodoxy, the world's only online video newscast focused on events in the life of the Orthodox Church. I'm Emmy Luveris. These are some of the stories making headlines this week. IOCC relief reaches children displaced by Ukraine conflict. Prime Minister of Greece Alexis Tsipras visits Archbishop Dimitrius. Three Orthodox churches celebrate substantial anniversaries and new resources on North American saints include life icons and a video lecture. First up, International Orthodox Christian Charities, IOCC, is responding to the urgent needs of the Ukraine. Nearly two years of continued armed conflict has driven 1.5 million people from their homes. UNICEF estimates nearly 180,000 of those displaced are children. Among the most severely impacted are infants and toddlers, as well as mothers with special needs children. As Ukraine's brief autumn turns into winter, the living conditions will only worsen. IOCC, working in cooperation with local relief partner Slavic Heart, is distributing kits containing essential baby food and hygiene items directly to families hardest hit in two towns near the front lines of conflict who face hunger daily as supplies grow scarcer due to damaged roadways and subsequent restrictions on commercial movement. The number in need of assistance has now reached a total of 5 million people as conditions keep deteriorating. IOCC continues to assess opportunities to expand its presence there in response to the growing humanitarian needs. To learn more about IOCC and how you can help, visit IOCC.org. And next up from New York, His Eminence Archbishop Demetrius of America met with Prime Minister of Greece Alexis Tsipras on October 1st. Both greeted each other at the entrance of the Archdiocese headquarters and continued on to the chapel where His Eminence showed the Prime Minister the few items that survived the destruction of the St. Nicholas Church during the September 11th attack. The two discussed the progress and the vitality of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America and the Greek American community in the U.S. And they also spoke about intensifying the efforts of the Omoyenia in support of the motherland, especially as Greece tries to grow its economy. Tsipras thanked the Archbishop for the substantial assistance and philanthropic support of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America to Greece during the crisis, mentioning the Center for Children Dimitrio in Moscato, Athens as an example. He continued by saying that the center is an example of solidarity and benevolence for children in need and that standing with and helping the fellow human being is invaluable work and is a goal which the efforts of both the church and the state should converge so no one will have to face tough times alone. And next up, three Orthodox churches in North America celebrate substantial anniversaries. On Sunday, September 20th in Springfield, Vermont, the Holy Trinity Church of the Orthodox Church in America celebrated their 110th anniversary, where Russian immigrants began settling the area in the early 1890s. On October 5, 1905, Archpriest, now Saint Alexander Khodovsky, celebrated the first divine liturgy. In Detroit and established in 1915, another Holy Trinity Orthodox Church of the OCA celebrated their centennial on October 3rd and 4th. And in Windsor, Canada, St. John the Divine Parish, considered the Mother Church of Orthodox Christianity in the region, also celebrated their centennial in the early 1900s. And without a church, Windsor's Orthodox Christians would travel to Detroit, Michigan for services. The parish's first church building was completed in 1916. And lastly, two new resources are now available in the study of the lives of North America's saints. One is a series of life icons and the other is a video lecture on the martyred saint Juvenali of Alaska. A life icon is a series of smaller icons showing specific events in a saint's life 
that surround a central panel depicting the saint. The full color life icons can be downloaded and printed for free for use by individuals and parishes at the Orthodox Church in America website oca.org under the Department of Christian Education. Each icon offers a frame-by-frame -frame explanation of individual scenes from a saint's life with a detailed narrative on the reverse. Another resource available is a video lecture on Saint Juvenali produced under the auspices of the OCA. The video untangles the great mystery of the death of Saint Juvenali, revealing inaccuracies in some documentation and debunking a previously written fictionalized account of his life, and it also traces the historical events concerning the ministry and activities of the first missionaries to North America, history that has been preserved for us by some surprising non-Orthodox sources. And in news from OCN, October is Support a Mission Priest Month. We aren't all called to be prophets or to serve the Lord in the ranks of the clergy, but we are called to the royal priesthood and to support those who are called to be priests and missionaries. To help in this effort, the Orthodox Christian Mission Center, OCMC, has established October as Support a Mission Priest Month, profiling priests on Facebook and also have a profile image you can download to show your support. We are asking all Orthodox Christians to use this as their profile picture through the month of October in order to raise awareness of mission priests and the work that they do. And here at OCN, we've been breaking down communication barriers while building up avenues connecting Orthodox Christians worldwide. We want you to be a part of our growth. Please consider making a contribution in support of our global media outreach efforts by being a part of our OCN 10 Cent Movement. For just 10 cents a day, you can comfort, inspire, and inform people all over the world. And remember, you can access the many breaking stories, blogs, podcasts, and videos available on the latest topics of interest on myocn.net, on Facebook, or watch us on our YouTube OCN video channel. And that brings another edition of This Week in Orthodoxy to a close. For everyone here in our OCN studios, I'm Emmy Luveris. Let's go forth in peace.